The long national nightmare has come to a close. Yes, John Morant has fallen victim to Adam Silver's decisive hammer of justice, the guillotine, if you will. He is now Ned Stark of the NBA. You are not going to believe the amount of games John Morant has been suspended for. Just to remind anyone, if anyone needs to be reminded, which I'm sure you don't, Ja Morant has now been involved in three separate alleged incidents allegedly involving guns, including, as everyone already knows, the one incident where he filmed himself at the strip club with the gun in his hand. I'm tired of talking about this, but here we are. Adam Silver has weighed all the evidence and looked at league precedent and came up with an absolute nuke. Eight games, including the six he's already missed, so it's two games punishment now for Ja Morant. Wow, how could you be so bold, Adam? Uh, Last I checked, Ja checked into a rehab center in Florida. Uh, He was planning on working on his addiction issues. Some reports were that we wouldn't see Ja for the rest of the year. Miraculously, because John Morant is like a Marvel character, he was cured of all addiction issues and found new coping methods and adopted new coping methods in six days. Congratulations. That is a miracle. Then, uh, yesterday, John Morant gave an exclusive interview to Jalen Rose, who I think I said gave the only reasonable take on the matter. Here is a clip asking John Morant... What was up with the gun in the strip club? You at the spot, shotgun willies. I've been there. You are holding a gun. And we both know how dangerous that can be. Whose gun were you holding? Well, the gun wasn't mine. Um, It's not who I am. I don't condone and Know, any type of violence, um, but I take you know full responsibility you know for my actions. Joe was just filming a rap video. That's all it was. He was just being an NBA young boy. Here's a clip of John Moran answering what it's like to have your inner circle questioned. What's it been like for you to see people criticize your inner circle? What have you learned about how you should move with your team going forward? I feel like in the past we didn't we didn't know what was at stake. And now, you know, finally me having that time um, to, you know, realize everything, have that time alone, I realize that now. I realize, you know, what I have to lose. You know, I can't wait to be back out there on the floor now, you know, knowing what my punishment is. And, you know, I accept that. And, you know, I feel like I deserve, you know, that punishment for, you know, my mistakes and, you know, what I did. We'll find it later. The whole four-minute interview did feel like a masterpiece of public relations. A lot of apologies, a lot of my faults, a lot of I take full responsibilities, a lot of I need to change, uh and the promise of the Reformation. He had done some anxiety breathing in order to get himself right when he finds himself overwhelmed by life. So basically, John Morant went to Quebec, like me. He went to the, uh, the monastery to learn some breathing techniques. He did some yoga. He ate breakfast in silence. And in six days, he was a changed man. Just like I was a changed woman in my six days in Quebec when I felt grounded and peaceful and was meditating for about three weeks. And now I'm not meditating, I am not peaceful, and I am in need of Quebec again. That's, that's human nature for you. Adam Silver called Jaws' behavior irresponsible, reckless, potentially very dangerous, not enough to, like, do anything of note to send a message that playing with guns in a live stream in front of hundreds of thousands of people may not be great in a country where we've already had hundreds of mass shootings and it's only March. Uh, Yeah, like eight games doesn't really feel like he finds it to be that dangerous. Jaw's going to be back March 20th against Luka and Kyrie potentially. Dallas Mavericks, national televised game. Do you think Adam Silver really cares? Do you think Adam Silver is concerned about John Morant's health and wellness, or do you think he's concerned about us seeing John Morant on the basketball court as soon as possible? Because I kind of feel like it's the last part.
And I like John Moran a lot. He's one of my favorite players to watch on planet Earth. I've said that a bazillion times. I care deeply for this person's health and wellness. Accountability is a big part of that. I don't want to talk about this shit again. Thankfully for us, we probably never will, right? Because John Moran is fully healed. And we will never run into any more John Moran issues from now until the end of time. Good for Jaw, good for Adam Silver that they have found a speedy solution to something that usually takes most people with these types of issues. Yep, six, seven months. Whatever, business as usual, just like Adam Silver likes it.